Hello everyone, do I get fat from fat or sugar, protein, carbohydrates? I hear quite often when people say I don't eat fat because I don't want to get fat, I don't eat carbohydrates because I don't want to get fat, but so they don't eat fat because they don't want to get fat but then they consume vegetable oils first of all i want to tell you that you get fat from fat from carbohydrates and from protein and from sugar doesn't matter what you eat if you eat in excess then you will store as fat whether it's carbohydrates protein or sugar people terrified of fat but without realizing what fat do for our health without fat our brain cannot function properly yes our brain will be more stressed if you reduce your fat intake completely saying that you're not going to consume fat from dairy animal product but then you use flaxseed oil on your salads or palm oil in Nutella, basically you're using a wrong fat. Palm oil is not good source of fat. Flaxseed oil, yes, flaxseed oil is also not the best source of fat, as if I would compare with animal product or full fat butter. You get more benefit by eating full fat butter than sprinkle flax seeds uh, on your cereal or having a flaxseed oil on your salads. You would say, but flaxseed have omega-3. I agree, flaxseed does have omega-3, but not enough. There are more omega-6 in flax seeds. That's why you can store it for longer as well as a peanuts or peanut butter any food you can store for a long time contains more omega-6 and that is the problem with people they consume a lot of omega-6 but not enough of omega-3 which is the fresh food that you cannot store for two months three months six months or a couple of years if you are not following my Facebook and Instagram, you're missing a lot of information. I post regularly something educational and I will motivate you to exercise and eat healthy. Does sugar store as fat? Yes, of course. Sugar store as fat the same way as uh, protein stored as fat. If you have too much protein, this protein will convert into fat. It will take longer and if you eat too much protein, you put unnecessary pressure on your kidney. So by eating a lot of protein, you're not doing good to yourself. As well as by eating a lot of carbohydrates, uh, you're not doing good either. So the carbohydrates convert into fat if it's in excess quite quickly. But protein, it takes time as well as uh, fat. Fat will take time to convert into fat. If you eat too much, you will store all of this as fat. By reducing carbohydrates or sugar, it's not good for you. You're not going to be as powerful in the gym. Your energy level will be low. You won't gain muscle mass because we need carbohydrates, not as much as you think, but we do need carbohydrates, we need fats, we need proteins, we need sugar. People consume too much uh, carbohydrates or if they will see some adverts saying, oh, fruits is really good for you, people start eating too much fruits or then they will see some another advertising saying, oh, ketogenic diet is the best. What they do, they quit carbohydrates, they quit fruits and vegetables, maybe a limit to some sort of vegetables, but then consuming too much fat, but then wonder why they're not losing weight. And in fact, their weight set point is high but that's because you're going to uh, from one crash diet to another crash diet to another crash diet we need fruits but we don't need fruits too much I notice when people ask me um, can I have fruits 
And I said, yes, what they do, they would consume two apples, one banana, maybe one uh, cantaloupe melon, maybe two pomegranate. That's too much. All these fructose will be stored as fat eventually, or unless you eat all these fruits and then go and train in the gym or do some sort of exercise. But again, uh, you will not burn all these fructose in one hour. To be honest, it's equivalent by having Snickers bar two or three. You'll get more nutrients and vitamins and minerals from fruits than if you would consume Snickers bar. But then again, Snickers bar have some benefits too. There are some nutrients that the body need. So both fruits and Snickers bar, they both sugar. Sugar is sugar. It doesn't matter where it comes from, from a Snickers bar, from honey, or from white sugar, or from brown sugar, or from a Gave syrup. It's still sugar, and it will be stored as fat. I tried ketogenic diet. I tried vegetarian diet. I tried vegan diet. I tried fruitarian diet. I also tried um, raw food diet. And I can tell you, these all fat diets, and on each diet, you feel like you are on a diet it's not a great feeling so at the moment I'm on a prep do I reduce my carbohydrates no I don't do I take pre-workout drink that load with sugar no I don't because why do you need pre-workout drink that load in sugar that you're going to burn calories in the gym that's what you're supposed to do you're going to burn calories in the gym but at the same time you're drinking calories it's not great i agree if you will have bcaa or eaa while you're training but try to find without the sugar the other day one of the nutritionists showed me a product uh, like pre-workout product and she said this is the best all the athletes and footballers use them it's the best uh, pre-workout drink when i looked at it it was 18 gram of sugar why do you need so much sugar while you're burning calories? That's what you went to the gym in the first place. You went to the gym to burn calories. Why do you need to consume calories? Some people drink milk while they're training. I saw this too. Some people have uh, sweets or some chocolate while they're training. I don't get it. Because you're not going to lose weight if you are trying to burn calories at the same time consuming high amount of sugar. By taking away carbohydrates or fats or uh, protein, protein maybe rarely, people usually consume way too much protein. And that's why they have stubborn fat. That's the one of the main reasons I think they have stubborn fat too much protein and when you go on a diet this fat that converted from protein it's hard to lose it's very hard to lose when i was on a high protein diet and then when i went on a diet to lose body fat i found that a high protein diet uh, that the fat you gain, it's very hard to lose this fat. But then when I tried a vegetarian diet, which is mainly high in carbohydrates, I gained weight. But then when I tried to lose that weight, I lost very quickly. The fat I gained from the protein diet was still there. So it's hard to lose weight if you're on a high protein diet. So by consuming too much protein, it will be harder for you to lose that fat. Anything what you consume in excess, it doesn't matter what protein, carbohydrate, fats, you will store as fat. Some people will say, how much um, protein should I take a day? Uh, I would say everyone is very, for women, I found like a sweet spot, 120, 130 gram of protein a day, it's a sweet spot. That's what uh, I consume. But then everyone is a different. 
how much carbohydrate I consume, 200 gram a day. See, I don't count, I don't count calories. I kind of roughly know how much I eat. For guys, I would suggest to take up to 200 grams of protein. Again, you don't need much. With a 200 gram of protein a day, uh, that could vary uh, depending on uh, the size and depending what's your goal but even then you don't need that much protein so the carbohydrates give you this bulk but then if you want to look more leaner then you cut down carbohydrates for a little while and then you become more shredded but this diet is not sustainable and the idea to keep lean is to sustain in this diet and don't feel like you are on a diet. And another thing I want to say, don't reduce your fat intake. We need fat because without the fat, you will feel crap. Anyone who studied biochemistry will agree with me. So we shouldn't reduce our fat. I feel good mentally and physically and I'm more productive when I consume five to eight gram of full fat butter. Fat is important. Don't reduce fat to a minimum. Try to avoid vegetable oils or spread or vegetable butter. Another thing I want to mention, when people eat a high carb meal, they would say, no, I'm going to the gym in three hours, so I'm going to burn off. No, you won't. You won't. That big high carb meal, you will not burn in one hour. It will take you two or three hours to burn. My next video will be about scientific research. Why I believe some, but I don't believe majority of the research I read on nutrition and exercise. To not miss any of my videos, please press like, subscribe, and don't forget to press the little red bell button so you receive notification every time I post new videos. Look after yourself, look after your health. Your health is your wealth. And I will see you very, very soon, probably in two days. Bye.